Hey guys, so in this video we want to use the iteration method to determine a closed form solution for t of n and its running time using big O notation. So here in the rectangle I have our recurrence relation which is t of n equals t of n divided by 2 plus big O of n and the base case is when n equals 1, t equals 1. So let's go ahead and get started here. First we have t of n Oh, actually, let's erase this here. Um, first, we need to rewrite the equation. So I'm going to put rewrite. And we get t of n equals t of n divided by 2 plus, here we have big O of n. So we have to understand what it means for a function to be big O of n. So basically, this will be some constant times n. And then we still have our base case, t of 1 equals 1. Okay, so now what we need to do, or what we can do, is we can um, choose a value for the constant. We don't have to, but it'll be easier, at least for me here, to continue with this. So I'm just going to choose our constant c to equal 1. Alright, so I'm going to replace this c with 1, and of course 1 times n is just n. So we can say that our recurrence relation is t of n equals t of n divided by 2 plus n and then the base case still stays the same all right so now what do we need to do to figure this out we need to try to find a pattern okay so we need to know what is t of n divided by 2 well t of n divided by 2 is equal to t of n divided by 2 divided by 2 because we're plugging in n divided by 2 for n here so that's why we're getting um, t of n divided by 2 divided by 2 and then plus again we're plugging in n divided by 2 for n so we get n divided by 2 here all right so now we're going to rewrite our t of n and now that was actually our first um, iteration we're going to use k for iteration we'll put number one here so now our t of n is equal to t of n divided by 2, um, oops, t of n divided by 2 divided by 2 plus n divided by 2 plus n. And again, what is our n divided by 2 divided by 2? Well, that's just n divided by 4, so I'm going to replace this with n divided by 4. Okay, so we still don't see a pattern here, or at least I don't yet. Um, maybe you do. So let's go ahead and try to figure out what is t of n divided by 4. So t of n divided by 4 is equal to t of n divided by 4 divided by 2 plus n divided by 4. All right, and so now we can uh, go to our next iteration. So that was 2 previously. So now this will be iteration 3. Rewrite our t of n. So t of n equals, we're going to replace our t of n divided by 4 with everything here, just like we did um, with our t of n divided by 2, where we replaced it with everything here. So we get t of n divided by 4 divided by 2 plus n divided by 4. And then we start to add on our n divided by 2 and our n. So plus n divided by 2 plus n. And so n divided by 4 divided by 2 is just n divided by 8. So I'm going to rewrite that here. And now I see a pattern. So once you see a pattern, we can write a general form for this. So the general form. The general form, it looks like, using this k iteration here, um, t of n is equal to, let's see, our k value was 1 here, and we get t of n divided by 2. Our k was 2 here, we get t of n divided by 4. And our k was 3 here, we get uh, t of n divided by 8. So 
this must be t of n divided by 2 to the power of k. Okay, so let's see about the rest as well. So plus, let's see our k value is 1 and we get n. Here our k value is 2, we get n divided by 2 plus n. And then our k uh, value is 3 here, so we get n divided by 4 plus n divided by 2 plus n. So it looks like there's uh, a loop here. Um, we get one, we add one variable here when k is 1, we add two variables here when k is 2, we add three variables here when um, k is 3. So it's looking like some type of summation. So let's see, it's some summation from i equals, let's say, uh, 0 to k minus 1, right? Because it would be, uh, if our k value was 3, this would be 3 minus 1, which is 2, so our summation would run 3 times. It would run 0, 1, 2, right? So that's 3 times. Okay, so let's not worry about that too much. We need to find out what goes inside this summation here. Okay, so again, let's look at it. We get uh, k value is 1, so we could say this is maybe n divided by 1. k value is 2, we could say this is n divided by 2 plus n divided by 1. Okay, so maybe we'll get n divided by 3 for the next one. Um, so our k value is 3, we get n divided by 4 plus n divided by 2 plus n divided by 1. So it's not what I expected, but I still see a pattern. This is technically divided by 1 here, this is divided by 1 here, and this is divided by 1 here. So you can see it's 4 to 1, it looked like powers of 2. So this is um, n divided by 2 to the power of i. So that should give us 2 to the power of 0, which equals 1, 2 to the power of 1, which equals 2, and 2 to the power of 2, which equals 4. Okay, perfect. So now let's do a little side note here. Or let's actually rewrite this equation first. So now we can rewrite this as t of n divided by 2 to the power of k plus n times the summation from i equals 0 to k minus 1 of 1 over 2 to the power of i. Okay, so now let's do our side note. This is a um, summation here, and there's lots of summation formulas out there. And the summation formula for this, I put on the side here, and I put in the note. Okay, so note that the summation from i equals 0 to, uh, let me write this one more time here, the summation from i equals 0 to k minus 1 of, of uh, r to the power of i is equal to, and I make sure I make sure this is right here. I believe it's one minus r to the power of k divided by one minus r, and then this of course is where r does not equal one. Okay, so that's just our little formula there that we can use. So let me go ahead and erase some of this to make some room. And our general form has not changed. Um, from what it is here, so we're going to go ahead and use this formula here to change it up a little bit. So let's see, t of n divided by 2 to the k plus n times, we're going to use that formula there, our r value is just a half, so that will be times 1 minus a half to the power of k 
all over 1 minus 1 half. All right, so let's go ahead and erase this. All righty. So um, let's continue here. Let's try to simplify this even more. So we get t of n divided by 2 to the power of k plus n times, let's see, uh, this will be 1 minus 1 half to the power of k all over 1 half. And then we can simplify this again. We get t of n divided by 2 to the k plus n times 2 times 1 minus 1 half to the k. Okay, and let's go ahead and simplify it one more step here. t of n divided by 2 to the power of k plus n times 2 times 1 minus, um, yeah, 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of k because 1 to the power of k is still 1. Okay, so that is our general form. Now, what we want to do is we want to get this in terms of n and not um, in terms of k anymore like we have here. We want to get k in terms of n. So in order to do that, we're going to use our base case, which says t of 1 is equal to 1. So we want our recurrence here to be equal to 1. So we want t of n divided by 2 to the k to equal 1, so that t will equal 1. So in order to do that, n divided by 2 to the k, we just need to do some algebra, equals 1. n equals 2 to the power of k. And then I'm just going to bring it over here. Log base 2 of n is equal to k. All right. So what that means is we can plug in log base 2 of n for our k value, wherever we have it in the general form. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So now plugging in um, for k, we're going to plug in log base 2 of n. So now we're going to get t of n divided by 2 to the power of, well, we have k here. Again, we're substituting k for log base 2 of n. Log base 2 of n plus n times 2 times 1 minus 1 uh, divided by 2 to the power of k here. So we plug in log base 2 of n. And so now we get is equal to t of n divided by n plus n times 2 times 1 minus 1 half. Oh, oh. this actually be um, 2 to the power of log base 2 of n is just equal to n. Okay, look, I'm running out of some marker there. Okay. So let's see, this is equal to t of 1 plus um, 2n times 1 minus 1 divided by n. Okay, so this is just equal to, well t of 1 is 1 from our base case, so we get 1 plus t of n times 1 is, I'm sorry, 2 times n times 1 is 2n minus 2n times uh, one, 1 over n. So we get 2n divided by n. And I'm going to write this out here. That's equal to 1 plus 2n minus 2. And this is equal to, let's see, and let me make sure I'm doing this right. I'm sorry, it looks like I'm not doing it right. Uh, 1 plus 2n minus, oh, that's right, um, 
2. So we get 2n minus 1. And so this is equal to big O of n. Okay, and it's equal to big O of n, or really, uh, we say equal to, but what we really mean is it belongs to big O of n, because big O of n contains a set of functions. So, thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave likes, any comments, you see any problems, let me know, please, and I will definitely correct it or um, help you understand why I did something. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, and... Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.